Hey there guys, welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. So next up today I'm going to give you a look at Qui-Gon Jinn from the Vintage Collection. This is a very decent figure in itself. Includes his lightsaber and his Jedi cloak, but before we go into that, we'll have a look at the packaging. Uh, it's basic Vintage Collection packaging with the Phantom Menace logo at the top and the still from the movie, which I think is the scene it's either where they escape from Naboo or when they retake the palace it's either or, I don't really know I can't, I can't really tell from there and on the back I've only got the I've also got the sticker on but I also have the Queen and Voss figure so I can show it on here uh, you get the other figures that were available in this wave such as the uh, the Darth Sidious figure and the Naboo Royal Guard. And also the available ships as, as was on there as well. So now we're going to the main aspects of Qui-Gon. So, as I said, he includes his lightsaber and his Jedi cloak. Uh, give you another articulation. There's a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel wrist, ball jointed torso, Swivel hips, ball hinged knees, and ball hinged ankles. Dropped it there. Um, just dropped his lightsaber. There it is. There we go, sorry about that. And I'll just take the jelly cloak off now so you can see. Quite gone without it. I like the use of this figure because it shows how much uh, Hasbro have come since the release of the original Qui-Gon Jinn in 1999. I, I think there was two as well. There was one that had a plastic Jedi cloak and the sleeves were the same colour as the cloak. And just, I think they could have made these plastic bits as the part of the tunic here is soft goods at first, and then it's plastic round here. Whereas on the original figure, it's soft goods all the way. And to be honest, I think that's like, that was actually better to have than that. So I think Hasbro could have could have kept with that. However, there's something I could say is the face facial sculpt for Qui Gon. It's a new style of sculpt compared to the older one. Which I'm going to actually say is this one was prob probably better. It just looked as it just looks more movie-like. So yeah, and the only other complaint I may create is the thickness of the lightsaber hilt because it's exactly the same as the old one. And them up there exactly the same length and thickness. So they could have made this one a little bit more thin so it would fit into Obi Wan's hand if you wanted to reenact the scene. So yeah, that is the Qui Gon Jin figure from the vintage collection. This might be one of the last figure reviews I do because of exams coming up soon. So yeah, I might I might do another another couple, but then after that I'm just gonna no stop it until about June because that's when my last exam finishes. So obviously, obviously you next next time. Bye.